Oh, I felt pretty terrible this morning. Just exhausted from yesterday's ride, which is not great considering today is the hardest day. So we're gonna try to take it a little bit slower today. I mean, even slower than yesterday. It took me about nine hours elapsed time to finish 125 kilometers. But we'll see how it goes. Today's ride's gonna be about 135 kilometers with 2,300 meters of elevation gain. I actually altered this route a little bit. Initially, it was gonna be 2,700 meters, but I think I'm making the right call by just shortening it a little bit. Uh, I'm super excited for today's ride. Today is, like I said, the hardest day, but I think it's gonna be the most beautiful as well. So the part of today's ride that I'm looking forward to the most is Aso National Park. I've only seen the photos, but so far, I don't think it's gonna disappoint. I mean, it's already so beautiful from here and I just left town five minutes ago. So, right now, I'm on the type of road that I thought I was going to be on for a lot of this trip, or I was at least hoping for. Nice and quiet, not a lot of cars, nice surface, I mean look at this. Yesterday's ride was stressful, lots of cars, actually lots of trucks, and you know most of the times the drivers here have been giving me plenty of space to pass, but you know, one or 2% of a lot of cars and a lot of trucks is still a lot of trucks. So pretty stressful, almost, almost regretting the route that I was taking actually. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous, can be anyway. I'm glad to report that today is not the same. I could say is wow really this place did not disappoint at all and I haven't even got to the volcano yet so Aso National Park it's the biggest volcano in Japan the pictures look amazing I'm not even there yet like I said and it's already stunning you know this morning 
when I woke up, I felt terrible. I was so tired. I didn't even feel like riding. Well, I'll tell you, I'm awake now. Just gotta say right now, the weather is perfect. I just had 10 days in Korea where I did not have any rain at all. And now, well, I'm only on the second day so far here in Japan, but so far so good. I don't feel the sun here the same way I feel the sun in Thailand. So sometimes I feel like I don't need to put sunscreen, but that's obviously not true. So I have to keep reminding myself to put some on. So I just started the climb up to Mount Aso. It says it's about 11 kilometers with 600 meters of elevation gain. Now this is where I made the change in the route. Initially, I was gonna continue and descend on the other side, but I decided it might be better just to descend the same way going up and then just continue along that way. It shaves off about 400 meters of elevation gain and about 20 kilometers. Let's see. <laughs>
unsurprisingly, there are a bunch of signs saying no drones allowed. But luckily, I have a nice descent coming up. So I've done about 53 kilometers now, have about another 80 to go, and just done about half the climbing, 1,300 meters so far. Feel pretty good, hopefully I can keep my energy levels up. Now that's a big mountain in front of me. I wonder how I'm supposed to get to the other side. That was so good. All morning I was hoping to find a udon place and I found the best one. Just at the top of the climb there. I don't know, I never had udon with like so many different kind of vegetables mixed in there. Big pieces of mushroom. Oh, so good.
was pretty epic. That must have been like 15, 16 kilometers where I averaged well over 40k an hour. It was just like 2%, 3% downhill the whole way. Pretty amazing. So now I've done 85k. I think I got about less than 50k to go. Still have to do about 700 meters of elevation gain though. But still, I'll be done in no time. All right, making good progress here. I have about 45 kilometers to do, but I got a, one more big climb coming. Should be coming up soon. It's a seven kilometer climb with 350 meters of elevation gain. Wow, this is beautiful. Looking forward to be done with that climb. I am hurting on this climb. <laughs> it's hard to put out even 170, 180 watts at this moment. And there's a vending machine in the middle of nowhere. Five point seven k to go. As I was getting a shot of that sign, I said the distance to Oida came to the realization that I never even mentioned where I'm going. I'm going to Oida. Just coming up to the top of this last climb. About about 10, 10, 100 meters to go. So I'm about a 7k away from my hotel. This ride was something else. So beautiful. But I think I'm ready for it to be over now. Made it to my hotel. Hotel Area 1 in Oita. Now, this is actually the smallest one out of all the hotels so far. And they didn't let me bring the bike up, but they let me leave in the lobby, which I was okay with that. And they have 24 hour concierge there, so I think it'll be okay. So as always, looking for dinner now. Lots of options here. I'm exhausted though. Looking forward to an easy day tomorrow. Riding to Beppu, it's only gonna be about 45 kilometers. I am gonna start as late as possible. <laughs> 